and welcome to All Things Knitty's Crochet Channel. This week's stitch, I've brought you the Grandfather Stitch. It is a beautiful one row repeat. And for myself personally, I don't like any stitches that's too fussy. So this is actually going to be my scarf for this winter. I always make myself a new hat and scarf. Uh, and I, I was playing around and I thought that this was really nice. Um, it is made up of a single crochet, a two in one stitch and a double crochet. I'll show you how to do this little stitch but it's so easy um once you once you're into it. It's a wee bit harder to see on the darker colours but if I stretch it out you can see the edges have this lovely zigzag kind of effect. So you will need um some yarn with the recommended hook size. I've just got some uh Add in weight and you will need a multiple of four plus two and then we'll begin. So multiples of four plus two. Okay, so to begin your foundation row, which is it is just the same uh, sequence throughout, but the first row is different um, because we're working into the chains. So we're going to begin in the second chain from our hook with a US single crochet. So insert your hook into the chain. Yarn over, pull through, you have two loops. Yarn over, pull through two. We're then going to chain two. One, two. And into the very same stitch, we're going to work that two and one stitch. So it's it's like a, a double crochet two together, but you jump a step. I'll show you what I mean. So yarn over, go into the chain. Yarn over, pull up a loop. You have three loops. Yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over again, go into the same stitch, pull up a loop. And a two together would be through two, then through three. But for the two in one stitch, once you have four loops, you're going to yarn over and just pull through all four. And that gives you two posts, but one stitch. So I just call that the two in one. Um, to finish our little sequence, we're going to work an, a double crochet into that stitch and that again is a US double crochet yarn over pull a loop up yarn over pull through two yarn over pull through two skip three one two three and in the next you're going to repeat single crochet chain two two in one stitch so I'll show you it again yarn over into the stitch pull up a loop you have three loops. Yarn over, pull through two loops, then yarn over again, back into the same stitch, pull up a loop, you have four loops. Yarn over, pull through all four. And then to end, work a double crochet, and that's through two and through two. Okay, I'll show you one more time and then you can finish your row. So skip three, in the next stitch, single crochet, Chain two, work your two and one. So pull through two, yarn over, go back in, pull up a loop, then yarn over through all four, and then one double crochet to end. Okay, so you're going to repeat that all the way across your row. Skip three, work your cluster, skip three, work your cluster, and you will work a cluster in the very last stitch as well. So once you've done that, I'll meet up with you and we'll finish it will start the next row together okay so we're about to move on to our next row so you finished with a full cluster in the very last stitch to begin your next row chain one and turn into the very first stitch we work our single crochet and chain two now we're going to be working into the chain two spaces from now on. So it's really important to make sure you always chain two or the pattern won't work. If you make that mistake in the row below, unfortunately, you will have to take it all out. Uh, otherwise, the pattern won't work. Okay. So we've done our single crochet and our chain two. Jump over to the chain two space and work your two and one. So it's yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over, 
pull through four and your double crochet into that. So the first stitch you just start, uh, the first cluster, sorry, you start in the very first stitch. But the rest of the row, here is our chain two, so chain one, chain two. Now we're going to be going into this stitch right at the top. So if you look at the two and one, you've got a loop here and a loop at the top. We're going into the very top and that's where we work our single crochet. Then we chain two, one, two, and then we will work our cluster into the chain two space. So yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, insert and pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through four. Yarn over into the same space, work your double crochet. Jump over to your next cluster, and here's where we work our single crochet. So it's the stitch right before the chain two. So in there, work a single crochet, chain two, and then into the chain two space here, this is where you work your cluster. So yarn over, pull through two, yarn over back in and pull up a loop, yarn over through four, and your double crochet. So single here, chain two, work your cluster. Do that all the way to until you've only got this last cluster left, and I'll show you how to end the row. Okay, so to finish your row, you work the first part the same. So into there and work your single crochet. Then you will chain two. Into the chain two space, you'll work the two and one stitch. So yarn over and pull through two. Yarn over and insert, pull up a loop through four. Okay, but your double crochet is going to go into the chain here. So into the chain two space, you work your cluster and then through the stitch, not under it, is where you work your double crochet. Just make sure you have your V before finishing your double crochet. Chain one, turn your work, and I'll just show you uh, how we begin and end the row again, okay? So into the very first stitch here, you work your single crochet, chain two, into the chain two space, work your two and one, and your double crochet. Okay, so do that in every cluster throughout, and stop here, and I'll just show you how to end the row once more. Okay, so to end the row, you start the cluster with a single crochet, in the top loop, chain two, into the chain two space, work your two and one, and then work your double crochet, it's the f right in the bottom there so that it keeps it nice and straight, yarn over, go into that chain right at the very bottom, make sure you have your V, and work your double crochet. Just make sure you're pulling this up tall so your hook is flat before you finish. And that's how you start and end each row. And that's all you have to do to make this lovely pattern. Um, it does obviously work, at, I thought it worked up nicer in a double knit with a four millimeter hook. It keeps it uh, tighter and this was some style craft and it, it is hard to see, I admit. Uh, I like to break it up. So if you wanted to make a scarf with this, I recommend doing five in a darker and then two in a slightly lighter and then finish with your light. And then obviously the other side of the scarf, when you're finishing, so be facing you this way, you'll work two in the the charcoal and then five in the, the darker stuff. Uh, this also works with browns. You could do it with Stoutcraft. Do another one of these that's um, a brown. Hold on. Sorry for the noise. I'm going to show you the hat that I'm making. Um, 
So Stylecraft do the exact same yarn, but it's in a brown. Um, so when I'm making a hat, I do a rib stitch. So I do 13 on, and then in the back loop only, I work single crochet all the way until the hat fits. Then in the back loop, I just do half double crochet. I like the half double crochet is a fast st stitch to work, but it also leaves it nice and eerie. Um, because I've got a lot of hair going on just now. Um, so y you you can do this obviously in a few different styles and whatever. But yeah, it reminds me of the granny stitch, and hence the name. So that was the grandfather stitch. Uh, I do appreciate you joining me and. If you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel, like this video, comment, let me know what you think of this stitch, what you'll use it for. The links for the, the I'll link the yarns that I've just spoke about in the description box below, uh, and that way you'll have the right code, and I will see you next Sunday. Bye.